Hi, I'm Gabby. I'm a clothing and graphic designer, and today I'm going to talk about what things clothing can communicate. Clothing, by default, is nonverbal communication in itself. Um, there's a few things it can communicate, such as work, lifestyle, politics, and personal taste. By work, this can be shown as a work uniform, corporate branding on a polo shirt, or sometimes it's solid colors, as some retailers and restaurants require that their employees wear all black to indicate that they are staff. Lifestyle. Lifestyle will reflect a person's interests. So a person into health and fitness might wear yoga wear or jerseys and athletic shoes for casual day look. Um, also somebody who's into vintage style might wear 1960s dresses and um, they may have the hairstyle to match. Um, and you can tell these people also like the music and the movies that reflect that fashion as well. Politics. Politics can be reflected by a slogan on a t-shirt or choice of fabrics. For example, sustainable or organic fabrics that don't cause, cause damage to the environment, um, or vegan leather that does not harm animals. Personal taste. Personal taste is more noticeable when a person is out of step with a group. For example, in a casual workplace, there may be one person who wears a suit jacket, even though they don't have to. This person favors tailored look, a tailored look over a casual look. Um, the same can be said with a person who wears sweats to work or jeans to a cocktail party. This person favors ca um, comfort and casual um, wear over fashion. So these are just some things clothing can communicate. Um, if you're going to an interview, it's best to stick with a tailored look um, to keep it clean and professional.